Hi everybody. I haven't worked much on my solar projects for quite a while, so I've decided to uh, uh, do an update on the 48 volt system, which I said I was going to work on. And well, here I am. I'm not getting any younger. I just turned 70, and uh, I can't work as quickly as I used to. But you know, here we go. Uh, what I want to show you is I have a. Uh, the Instarack IR30, which is a new racking system. I'm sure you've seen some videos on the web about it. I wanted to uh, show you my install for the moment at least. I got four uh, four panels that I put up here as an update. Uh, it's on the Instarack IR30. Uh, I had not many problems building it, but I'm just doing it by myself mostly. Get a little hip, uh, help here and there from other people. But uh, I did have a couple of problems that I want to point out to you. So this is just one of the plates, uh, one of the mounts. If you're going to have, uh, if you're going to order uh, for one solar panel, you got to order two of these, one for each side. I had, on this setting, set up, I had four solar panels, so I had to order five of these, okay? So just keep that in mind. Next, I want to show you something else. On some of the videos that you have seen, uh, Will Prowse and others, uh, they built the rack. They did a great job, but they show you a tool that they get with it, which is really cool. But I need you to understand something. If you don't order anything other than the the racks, it doesn't come with it. So if you order uh, the spikes to put it in the ground or the uh, the other stuff where you put gravel in it or whatever to help for the mounting part, it, that, that will get you the wrench that comes with it. If you just order a basic panel, basic racks, it will not come in. I happen to have uh, my own little ratchet and it fit right over in here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it before. It fit in there perfectly and I was able to uh, set up the panels, tighten them up really good. Let's go on to the next thing. So what I want to talk about is the the conduit, the one inch conduit, what they give you, what you have to get yourself in order to link the panels together. So in the videos that I saw for them uh, putting these uh, racks together, they talked about the one inch conduit and it goes through the holes uh, so you can keep everything straight okay all the panels straight okay that's great but what i saw was every single video i saw and they didn't talk about this was these bolts were sticking up quite a bit on all of them and when i tried to put this together i couldn't do it i could not do it so i called up instarack and i talked to paul and he set me straight okay Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble here with you can hear the helicopter in the background so anyways you've got they give you these bolts they're like half inch bolts okay and a half inch bolt and they have a little groove in here which you'll see your yours you'll see it uh i'll put a picture or something but they have a little groove in here so it has to go in these holes on the rack itself you got to tighten it down and it puts pressure on the conduit problem is is you can't do it I mean, I'm not Superman. A lot of people can't do it. It won't set the screw, okay? So I talked to Paul Instarack and he says, no, 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 no. You have to have an impact wrench. So I got my Milwaukee drill and I went to Lowe's and I got a impact uh, tool for this and it's a half inch and it goes into impact mode over here. So what you gotta do is you gotta use this and then it's so easy, it's crazy. So dumb guys like me, I didn't really read the directions. So, well, here we go. So here's the hole. And believe me, it was so hard, I couldn't do it. I go with this. And my God, it's set just like that. Okay? Now, I don't know if the battery is bad on this. Because it only goes that far. Okay? So what I have to do is to go like this. with my regular impact. Uh, my other ratchet. And I tighten it. And I tighten it. And it's creating the hole, the better hole in this in this frame and eventually it's going to get really loose now it's loose right 
bad battery, whatever it is, I go again. Now I tightened it a lot more, save me time. Now I will finish it with this. And that, this is done, it's flush, it's beautiful. So anyways, anyways, guys and gals, don't be like me, read the directions or listen to what I tell you. I talked to Paul Instarek, he was terrific. Paul Instarek was fantastic. I gave him a call, he helped me out, okay? So anyways, it's important to use an impact wrench to set the screw you gotta use the impact wrench just to set it for a second and then you can do this I spent too much time trying to do this without the directions from Paul so okay so I am now building uh, I've got four uh, bifacials which I've had for quite a while these are 415 watts I've had them for a while uh, finally I'm gonna put one two three four facing south I've got four just regular 425 watt panels and they are going south. So they get the 12 o'clock noon all the way to the evening. This is making a lot of power, making a lot of power. This will be south. I'm gonna have four more panels. And then I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe add six or eight more panels behind back here. So I'll have three strings. So anyway, this is the InstaRack, and I really like it. It's simple for simple guys like me. I'm very happy with it. So I, I recommend them. Uh, you will need somebody to help you a little bit, uh, especially when you're putting these panels on there. Um, but it's, this is great. This is a great design. Guys like me can get it done. And uh, so that's my kind of my update with the InstaRack IR30 and my uh, solar panels. Uh, they're in the backyard. I'm not putting them on the roof of the house. I don't want to have to go through all kinds of permitting and stuff. And I got a big backyard, you know, and I got no kids running around. So this is great. The only thing I have is raccoons that come back here to school. So, okay. So anyways, that's my update uh, for my 48 volt solar system. It's taking time. I'm sorry, everybody. But again, I'm Stu, of course. Welcome to my senior life.